Hello everyone, my name's Sam, welcome back. I hope you have had a good little break. I had a really lovely time down on the coast of South Australia with my brother and sister-in-law. I also got to spend time with my parents. And yeah, happy new year. I hope you had a lovely little break and the new year is starting you off well. I thought I would spend a little bit of time down here getting some levels, which I kind of already have 41 because our enchantments aren't great and we really only have the fortune 3 efficiency 4 pickaxe so it would be nice to get a few more tools going I think you know what, I think that's enough let's head back up Ooh, better put my leather boots on just in case now I have been up for a while so I might actually pay to stay awake and see if we can kill some phantoms because at some stage we are going to need to take on the dragon and I want to be prepared and have some phantom membranes in order to craft some potions that will help us out. So I'm going to wait for it to turn night time and then hopefully we will do some phantom hunting. The sun is setting so hopefully the phantom hunting will begin soon. I don't really have anywhere set up to do this so hopefully just in this little patch of grass will be fine. I am a little bit nervous about being uh, snuck up upon by some creepers or something like that because we do have 41 levels but I'm sure we'll be fine. Anyway while we wait, oh look at the moon, so pretty. Uh, tell me what you got up to on your little break. I kind of detoxed a little bit, I didn't really play much Minecraft at all and if I did I just sort of came and sat in the world. Does anyone else do that? Just come in and sit in their world and not really do anything and just look around and admire it? Or am I the only one? Maybe that's weird. I don't know. You tell me. But yeah, I have done a little bit of thinking about what I want to try and achieve this year in terms of like goals. I don't really like doing resolutions as such, just sort of I like to have things that I have in the back of my mind, I guess, that I kind of want to achieve. So like, it would be nice to hit a thousand subs for one. I don't know, just grow the channel, do more videos. I'm really enjoying this and I really am thankful that I started doing this because I've been needing some sort of outlet for my creativity for a long time. And I've always been, you know, too nervous or too scared to start something. And so I'm glad that I've done that and I want to keep that going. But yeah, tell me what you've got planned for the new year. Any resolutions, any goals, any things you want to achieve? I am all ears. Where are these phantoms? Oh, there we go. God, they make a horrible noise. Okay, come on. Give me your membrane, please. Okay, this might take a hot second. Oh my god. First try. Okay. Not bad. Any others? Wouldn't hurt to have a few more. Oh, four. Okay. Um. I think we got this. Three. Okay, well, I'm going to stay up for the rest of the night, see how we go, and I will show you our spoils in the morning. Burn! Oh, okay. I think that was pretty successful, actually. We got five phantom membranes in the end, which is actually quite a lot and will definitely come in handy with potions of slow falling for whenever we do decide to take on the dragon although it's probably a little bit of time away i mean i don't think i've even found a nether fortress yet or really explored super far in the nether hello spider please thank you and just a quick recap we built this little sugarcane farm slash llama sanctuary i guess last episode so let's see how we're going a stack and almost another stack not too bad look it's probably not the most efficient farm that there will ever be but it's better than nothing oh somebody died here 
Thank you. Now, today, I kind of want to get rid of these levels. It does make me a little bit nervous that we have 41, because I can die randomly. And I actually died earlier, a few days ago, <laughs> because I was taking photos to update uh, the thumbnails. And I was in the nether taking a picture of a warped forest, and what happens? An enderman walks in front of me. And I died. I'll put up a picture now, you can see the enderman's face. I've also been mining a little bit, so we've got quite a fair few diamonds to our name. Let's disenchant all of this real quick. Now let's see what we can get. Fire protection three, fire protection three, protection three on the hat, fire protection three. Mm. What about on these guys? Unbreaking, unbreaking. <sighs> Why is enchanting so hard sometimes? You know what? Maybe the reason that we're not getting any good enchantment is because we've been building all these things and we haven't actually built a little spot for our enchanting table yet. It's just here in this cave. And I know I said I would make a nice place at some point. And I'm pretty sure I have it on our little board too, which I kind of have forgotten about. Ooh. Yes, enchanting building. I think that's what we cross off the list today. Because I have had an idea for an enchanting table area for a while. I've just never actually... You know, I don't know, had the time or patience or thought that's what we need to do today. But I think today that will change. Now, I have set this little pillar over here where I think we can put the build because it has a nice little view here of the lake as well as over the rest of the, the area that we've built up. But it's actually going to be a lighthouse, which is kind of another reason that I wanted to put it here up on the cliff edge. So I think that's what we're going to do today, if that's all right with everyone. Is that all right with you, Mr. Bunny? No, you're walking away. Now, I have been gathering a few resources, but I think we're going to need a few extras, including some stuff that uh, I don't think I've used in a build yet. So I'm going to go off and do a little bit of a gathering montage, if that's all right with everyone. Okay, everyone, I think we are ready to go with the build. So here are all of the resources that I've gathered. I think these will be enough, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'll see how we go anyway, and then, you know, I'll have to go get more, I guess, if I have to. And over here is where I want to put this little enchanting lighthouse. So I've just marked out I guess the base area with the path block, so I know what I'm doing. Hopefully I've done the math correct. I think the tower here itself, which will be our lighthouse tower, needs to be five by five. One, two, three, four, five. And then these need to be five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And then on this side, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I'm just gonna grab a bit of everything and see how far that takes me. Hopefully, uh, you know, it'll get pretty solid chunk of the way through but with that I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started so please sit back and watch and hopefully enjoy a little bit of a time lapse Well, 
What do you think so far? I mean, <laughs> it's lacking a lot of details, but it's getting there. I still need to, I completely forgot to strip the spruce. Um, and I haven't put any roofs on and there's still a little bit of ways to go here, but this is the, the general shape. I thought I'd stop and give you a look um, and then get back to chucking all the rest of the details on. So I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse and now sit back and watch me sort of tidy everything up a bit. Okay, everybody, I think we're done. Do you want to see? Ta-da! Ignore this little situation over here. This is the finished build. Our enchanting lighthouse. I think it turned out great. It took a little bit longer than what I sort of had thought that it would. Uh, mostly because I was kind of unhappy with how it came out once I put it in the world. It was very one-sided with this giant uh, lighthouse here. It needed something extra on the side, so it took me a little bit to figure out what I needed to put here, but uh, yeah, this is the build. I think it came out really well. Let me give you a quick tour of the outside, and then we'll head inside. So I obviously still need to connect our paths up, but here we have a little pen for a friend or two maybe. Around the back, there's not too much, just our fireplace. And then this side of the build also is just, you can't really see that, can you? This side is just, yeah, more windows and you get a good view of the lighthouse here. And then this is our little entrance. So let's head inside to an empty room. I'll be honest, I kind of have no idea what to put in here. I spent all of my effort on the build and then the interior upstairs and so my brain is depleted. If you have any ideas, please let me know. Um, we've got a door here that goes outside. And then here, we've got a lovely little spiral staircase that goes up to, there's a door here that we'll go into later, but you can actually follow the staircase all the way up. And I put um, lichen along the walls here just to add some, some lighting. Um, and we've got a little staircase. And then you can actually get on top, which is really cool. I love when you do a build and it does have function. So we can get up here, see if there are any pillages, you know, trying to come and steal all our goods. Got some sheep and a donkey. Hello, friends. And yeah, we can look out, you know, over the work we've done over here as well. And we've got a lovely shroom light. I kind of want to put a frog light here but no frog lights yet unfortunately that means going into the nether which I haven't really done much of at all but if we come back down the staircase and into here we get to the enchanting room so this is yeah the interior here and we will plop our enchanting table just here in a moment but it's got a little bed you know, just a few decorations here and there, lots of bookshelves, of course, a little spot to sort of sit down and, you know, write all of your little notes about what you're enchanting and what you aren't, and then just a simple little balcony here. Now, let's put this enchanting table down. I think right there is the spot. There we go. Whoop, it's working. And I'm pretty sure I did this right, but we should, yes, have level 30 enchants. And we have 43 levels, so I think it's about time that I get out of this armor and we make it sparkly again. What do you reckon? Okay, now, there is silk touch here which I could take, but 
I'll just have a quick look, see if there's anything else that might be good. What have we got on the book? Respiration 3, that could be good, but I think let's get our shovel. Let's see what we get. I'm breaking 3 on a shovel. Great first enchant. Okay, what's next? I'm just gonna go the chest plate and cross my fingers. Please be good. Protection 3, I'm breaking 3. Okay, that's not bad. We're getting somewhere. I'm breaking 3 on the pickaxe. Last protection would be really good on the pants. I think I'm gonna go with that. Nice. Two pieces down. Oh, we're still not getting any silk touch. This is a bit disappointing. Oh, protection 4 on the boots. I think I have to go for that. Oh, just protection 4. Okay, I think my last one I'm gonna try for silk touch, please. Fortune 3 again. Oh my goodness. What is this? Am I just cursed to get Fortune 3 forever? Okay, I don't need... Okay, I think that that is enough enchanting for today. Let's put away the rest of our stuff because there's one more thing I want to do today and that involves this little saddle. Now, as I showed you at the reveal, I've built this little pen and you might be wondering, Sam, who is that pen for? And it is for our donkey friends. This donkey has been bumping, no, excuse me, I'm talking about you, sir, don't walk away, was constantly bumping into me the whole time. And he obviously wants to be my best friend. So, are you, no, okay, come on now. I'm going to give you a brand new home. If you'll let me, come on. There we go. Saddle. And we can take him back. And he can be our... Oh. Really? Not now while well, I've got my donkey friend. Okay, we'll just go around the back. I'm not here. There we go. What do you reckon? Nice little spot. Now... I'm gonna take this off because there was one more donkey that I actually wanted to see and I need to put on my leather boots because there is a donkey that has been perilously wandering around on the top of the snow that I think needs saving. Donkey, where are you? Tell me you've disappeared. Did you fall down this hole? I hope not. Oh, I almost did. Oh, there you are. You are crazy. What are you doing all the way over here? This is no place for donkeys. Gotcha. Alright, hopefully donkeys don't sink in powdered snow. I'm not sure if there is any anywhere, but just in case, we will be very careful and you will come home and i will show you to your new home um okay i'm pretty sure i had a lot more llamas than two i'm not going crazy am i where did everybody else go oh hello b do you want to join the family too there we go two new donkey friends well i think that's been a pretty successful episode we finally have a place to do our enchanting that isn't a tiny little cave and we've made two new donkey friends. We've got a few good enchants but I think I'm going to spend a bit more time off camera working away getting some levels and getting some better things especially silk touch and not fortune. Uh, but I think that this hello bee is where I'm going to call the episode. There's still so much that we have to do. Sorry for the little break, uh, but this finishing this project has really sort of invigorated me and made me really want to get back into building and developing this little world and, I don't know, this community, village, township that is seems to be developing here. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please uh, leave me a comment and, you know, let me know what you liked or you didn't like. Don't forget to be kind to yourself and I will see you in the next one. Bye.
Thank you.